What's up guys, this is Jorge Yao and I'm back with another Clash of Clans video. Now, I am back in London, I arrived yesterday morning and just in time for the new season and the end of the old season. So in the end of the old season, as you can see, uh, I'll take a look right now. Uh, so quick status check, I'm on my uh, hashtag Yao Squad account. So if you look at previous September 2015 season, you'll look, I actually placed 9th place uh, which is okay, you know, not as high as I wanted. Uh, Alex C2 representing, almost hitting 5,100 trophies, which is really insane. Uh, he had a good string of defenses with 15 wins. I only had six last season, so 15's huge. Um, but yet, yeah, the one thing that I was looking forward to was looking at my profile. Now I have this beautiful Legend League tournament. So, best September 2015 season, 5,027, rank 9. And I banked 27 Legend trophies into my profile. Now that sticks with me forever, so that's the coolest part. Now I'm currently ranked 11th. Um, I actually hit number one in the world for a brief period of time this morning before going on defense. And I'll show you guys that defense live in a second. Well, not live, but I'll show you the replay of that defense in a second. But let's go ahead, look at these, this attack log. Um, had some great attacks, but this one was gut-wrenching because I had the opportunity of getting 10 cups, which is really high up, which is a lot because I got reset to 5,000. So 10 cups is huge at that level. Uh, so I'll show you guys this replay. Um, not one of my best attacks, but also not a base that I've seen before. Like, as you can see, it's one of those square bases, uh, square within a square base. Uh, but it's a little bit designed weird. So, you know, he put the extra walls in there, maybe for ground troops. And there's a, you know, there's a expo right there that's set on ground. So I wasn't really too afraid of getting the one star, but I really, really wanted the two star on this. Now, if I was using drags, I think I would have been able to pull off the two star. But uh, this account, I'm def I'm only using Lava Lunion on this account. Maybe I'll switch to drags at some point now that I've actually hit Legends, we'll see. But I still want to try to practice my Lava Lunion attacks, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm still constantly learning. Um, I'm learning from the guy who uh, who taught Battle Bee, actually, how to attack with Lava Lunion. So um, I'm really close with the Unknown Warrior guys, and I'm actually really thankful for them for uh, sharing a lot of replays. So I've been learning from them. So, you know, if it were like Battle Bee or one of his, uh, you know, crew members, they may have two starred this this base, but for me, I was just happy to get out with the one star. So let's go ahead and watch this attack. So you see me drop the rage spell. I'm trying to take out that air defense. I'm doing a little bit surgical, so I drop one lava hound and a few balloons to try to take out that archer tower and that air defense. Now once I do that, then I can drop a few minions, and you'll see me do that in a second. Uh, I drop a few minions to kind of pick off the the outside buildings that aren't that don't have any sort of air um, defenses near it. So as you can see, I drop a few minions, and then you'll see me uh, do basically the same thing, but then go mass uh, lava, basically loons uh, on that air defense. So I do a little surgical. I try to go for the air, the archer tower. So the archer towers and anything that attacks air really are the ones that you really want to focus on. You drop a few loons to get those out, and that's the surgical part. And then you drop your mass loons once those are taken out, the archer towers, and then they'll usually funnel to the center. So it funnels perfectly to the center, but as you can see, I probably dropped the free spell a little bit too soon, and also, I probably should have saved one free spell for that multi-target inferno rather than dropping both free spells at the same time, but, you know, it is what it is. Hindsight's 2020, and, you know, this attack has already happened. As you can see, though, they're doing work, you know, I'm doing pretty well, and look, the town hall's already low on health. Now, the thing is, with this base, which is actually kind of clever, and I think it's one of my, uh, one of the comments on one of my earlier videos, someone mentioned why people put walls around the town hall. Well, it prevents splash damage from when the loons die. So as you can see, like the the town hall is actually less than half, less than 50% health. Um, but it could have been a lot more damage done onto the town hall. But uh, because of that wall that's right there, I think that prevents a lot of the splash damage. So let's go ahead and watch the rest of this. So the loons are doing the work, you know, they're taken out, and then basically I have the minions and the lava puffs take out extra buildings. And at this point, I'm like, okay, I'm at 40%, you know, I don't want to be risky. That clan castle is still not taken out, um, you know, I want, and that archer queen is still about less than a quarter health, but she's still alive. Um, so I'm a little bit weary. I do have the hog rider, so the difference between, so I'm going to pause it real quick. So the difference between this attack strategy and what I used previously since uh, the new update is I included a hog rider. Now, a lot of players use that nowadays 
Quest 2. Uh, the reason is, is you use the Hog Rider to tease out the clan castle. Uh, because if you can't take out the clan castle before you drop your heroes, then they, your heroes get stalled, especially your queen, by the clan castle. Because usually there's a Lava Hound or a Golem in there. So you either want to take out the clan castle, which is what I do with my drag strategy, or you, you in this Lava Hound, uh, Lava Lunian, excuse me, strategy, uh, I bring in a Hog Rider to tease it out. But in this case, I'm only at 40%, 41% right now, and I'm trying to pick off some percentages, and I really want that two star, but uh, you know, that king and that queen is really gonna, they're gonna be a nuisance to me, So and I know that. So I kind of play the safe route, as you can see. I'm waiting for it, I'm waiting for it to see how, man, how many percent I can get uh, before I decide whether to get the one star, uh, safe one star, or the um, risky two star, see? So I drop a bunch of minions there to take out that king, which is actually kind of successful. And so I take out the king, but look, they actually start going for the town hall right afterwards, but because of that air sweeper and that queen, they can't really do that much work. And they get drawn in, so they get aggroed by the queen. So there's really not much work to be done there. I drop the king at the top right, but then you'll notice there's a lava hound in the CC. See, so basically, if I drop the king queen there with the king trying to go for the two star, I probably would have lost this attack really. So it was not worth it. I wanted the king to. The king doesn't even get, he gets one building so before he dies. So literally, you know, not worth it. I drop the queen at the bottom to get the save 50% and that's it. I probably should have just used the hog rider to, that was kind of a mental error. I probably used should have used the hog rider like uh, up there a little bit and teased out the CC and then try to go for it. But I didn't want to risk it because at 5,000, you know, losing like 20 something cups is huge so i'd rather just take the easy five cups and not go for the uh two star ten so not my best attack but still a good one um i was number one after you know a couple attacks uh i, would, I think it was like 50 15 i believe 5015 and then uh, i'll show you the defense that uh brought me down so i got negative 18 on defense which brought me down to 4997 so let me show you this defense real quick it's actually pretty clutch so Typical defense, still still same base, you know, pretty good. Um, now, a lot of these bases, like, you'll see variations of this base. A lot of Quantum's Web members use it, a lot of other members use it. A lot of Legends players basically use this base or a variation of this base. And it's a pretty strong base, but it really relies on a lot of luck in terms of who you get as an at uh, attacking you, basically. If the person's really good, then they'll two-star you. If they're okay, they're decent, they'll one-star you, and you pray to God a noob finds you, and you win, basically, on defense. But he attacks from the clan castle side, teases out the uh, the lava hound, as you can see. Once he teases that out, drops the poison spell, which does damage over time. So it's doing work on my lava hound while it's doing basically no damage to the golem. Uh, it's affecting the balloon also, so he waits patiently, which is really good. He drops those wizards there, he spams those wizards, and they basically just aggro towards the uh, the lava hound. And that's what you want to see. That's that's actually a good attacker right there, doing his work. Um, you see all those wizards right there, just really just wrecking my uh, my lava hound. So that takes that care of that, and that's so many wizards. See that bomb that just blew up? Now if that bomb was somewhere else, like right here, and blew up those wizards, then it would be GG. But because it wasn't there, um, then, you know, those wizards are all alive. And I was kind of scared. I was like, oh man, that's a lot of wizards followed by those golems. So I was kind of scared at this point. But, you know, uh, the battle played out and actually worked pretty well. And you'll see in a second that it was actually pretty clutch, the battle. Um, so he only one-starred me. And usually uh, the one-stars that happen on my base usually come from percentage rather than taking down the town hall. But in this case, it was actually the exact opposite. So you see those wizards doing work down there. I was worried about that because these wizards are probably going to do a lot of work. But you see the, that the king and the queen basically aggroed right towards the center, which is what I was really afraid of. So the king is doing work right there. My town hall is taking some damage, but not a lot. The king's basically dead, which is good. The town hall is down to maybe like a third health, and she pops her ability. So it's actually pretty clutch pretty clutch like you know her health was down to less than a quarter uh, but luckily she had her ability and that's GG rip on my town hall but look he couldn't get the rest like my the rest of my uh, defenses took out all of his wizards the golems and everything else and now he's just basically trying to get the percentage right because he gets plus 18 from one star he already got the one star and now he's looking for five percent to get the two star which is huge he wants a two star me because you know, who doesn't want a two-star legend account for negative 38 or plus 38 for his case, right? So 
There you go. He's trying to basically pick off anything that he can find. He can't find anything. Um, so I'm going to fast forward this, but, you know, he can't find anything, luckily, um, that can really give him that 4%. So, but he's trying, though. He, I think he tr tries to target this uh, spell, dark spell factory a little bit, um, but he doesn't get it. So that's really clutch on my part because with... Uh, with an account that this high, you really, really cannot afford a negative uh, 38 two star. A negative 38 two star, you're gonna spend so much time trying to regain it back. Luckily, I already hit legends because uh, with the new season, they reset you back to 5,000. So all you have to do is make one attack, and you basically get legend badge again. But you know, that being said, you still negative 18 is still pretty crappy. Uh, but I'm still pretty proud. I was number one in the world for a brief moment before I had to go defense. You know, these, these <laughs> actually, for some reason, it's just like second nature, but I love popping these, uh, these collectors whenever they're available. I just love popping them. But anyway, look, 4997, so I'm only three cups away from 5,000 again. Uh, the current leaderboard, let's see, let's take a look at it again. Lucky, he won a defense at... 5017, so he's currently in the lead, which is cool. Uh, number two, I, who I think is being played by Roller, I believe, and I think Lucky is played by Roller too. I noticed they all went on defense at the same time this morning, so um, with the same base. So I think Up and Smoke, he won defense, which is good. Um, I saw his base layout similar to mine. Um, number two, same thing, same base layout. Uh, Dawood, 77, same base layout. So a lot of these players have the same base layout, and it really just depends on who you get as, a, uh, as an attacker, uh, whether he's good or he's bad. So it's, come, a lot of it comes down to luck. But anyway, I wanted to showcase all that for you guys and kind of just recap. I'm back in London. Uh, I'll be back on my regular schedule soon. I'm still dealing with jet lag. But there you go. Uh, I wanted to just do a quick video on, you know, what's happening uh, in the new season, or at least the beginning of the new season. Uh, and I'll show you right now that uh, my actual, my main account, Jorge Yao, is actually climbing a little bit. So I'm at 49.50, so 50 cups to go. Now, 50 cups doesn't seem a lot, but at this level, 50 cups is ages. So uh, I need to be a little bit lucky and win defense uh, down the road. So hopefully I can make it on your Jorge Yao to Legends this season. Um, win some defenses and get some luck out of it, but you know, I'll do a session later tonight 4950 is actually my personal best so I'm pretty happy about that But I haven't attacked yet on this account since the new season since I'm actually on one day shield So my one day shield ends tonight, so I'll be uh, clouding on that account later tonight uh, as well as Yao squad in nine hours and eight minutes so uh, yeah, there you go. Um, that does it for this video. Again, if you like this video and all of my other videos, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. This is Jorge Yao, and I'm out. Peace out, guys.